Days Gone Challenge 4 is a pain in the ass, but I already completed it with a gold rank. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. The very first thing I picked up was a ink cap you saw down below there, and I picked all the items in this tent. I picked up the ink cap because we're going to be crafting much and much more residue bolts. I also used two very important rings to reduce the crossbow bolt fall off, and also a second one which actually makes you picking up stuff while sliding. In this video I'm going to use a tactic where you use a lot of residue bolts and that means that the enemies are gonna take out themselves. In total we're going to be using 12 different residue bolts so that's really a lot. Right now we're going to the entrance of the camp and we're going to distract this marauder with a rock so when he turns around we're gonna sneak up to him and shoot one of these nice residue bolts right up in his ass. Affecting a marauder with a residue bolt is pretty hard to do but try to aim for his left butt cheek or his left upper leg the marauder is a really strong guy is going to take out plenty of guards in the camp then we turn back around and get ourselves a setter sapling with this and also this ink cap that we found already we can craft more of these residue bolts which are super important make sure to pick up everything i am picking up in this gameplay and just follow the same route most of the time when you follow all these steps and you look on your left over here you got one more residue bolt left and you should be seeing someone right now someone is standing really far away but normally there's someone really close that you can easily shoot from just there be very careful with shooting because every single residue bolt should be a hit and we also found ourselves another setter sapling so somewhere in this water actually if you look at the truck on your left somewhere next to the truck you will find yourself in the water another flower that you have to pick up as well then you got to go to the left and pick up some more stuff with everything you pick up you will get more points but there's also something super important on the left because there is another ink cap which we once again need to craft some more of these residue bolts to get some more residue kills then we're moving to the part where we're going to be using most of these residue bolts we're basically going to berserk every single guy here you craft some residue bolts because you have plenty of materials and you go in right here you have two of these huts and there should be two guys in there uh, first off, I was looking in here I was like where is the guy at but he was actually just sitting right in front of me I just shot him and then I went on to the next guy which you can see from a long distance already like I said in the beginning of this video make sure to be using the two rings I pointed out because it makes it so easier to slide grab stuff and also to aim with the crossbow I have enough material right now to craft three more of these residue bolts. I had one left in my crossbow, but I couldn't get a clear shot. I was like, okay, let's continue and let's go further on because I know there are a couple of more guys standing around this corner. And this is where uh, it's actually going to take the most time because you go through the water really slowly. And there's an awesome melee weapon here on my left, but I don't want to use that. I don't have to use that to get points with. But just so you guys know, there is an awesome melee weapon there on your left. Another part where you guys got to be super careful because you already shot so many of these guys with the residue bolts and all of the guards kind of went this way right now because yeah you actually tricked them this way so right now you got to go over this and then you got to shoot at least one guy and try to go into the bushes and somehow once you use a residue bolt on someone make sure that you're not getting seen by this guy because they will still attack you there's still no one that saw me and i was figuring out how to get to the bushes with so many guards around so i started using some more residue bolts started making some guys freak out once again and at the right moment i'm going to try to go through the bushes without them seeing me the freak literally almost took everyone out and now i'm carefully moving towards this truck make sure to go go here because there's a trap and there's also a trap on my right and there's seriously so many freaking traps pick the stuff off the truck and make sure to go in the bushes fast because you don't want to be seen so keep hiding in the bushes wherever you are also something which is very annoying is that if you walk into a trap and the enemies aren't even nearby you will still get detected walking into a trap even from 100 meters they will get alerted so watch out for that everyone around this area is dead i picked some stuff on the rooftop i picked some stuff inside this house so i can have plenty of molotovs plenty of napalm bombs plenty of pipe bombs all those things i need because i still need to get these 
uh, kills without getting seen, but I also need some explosive kills. And right now it's pretty easy to do that because there is literally no one around. I'm just moving to the second place where I'm going to find even more explosives, but make sure you don't get seen while doing this and then directly go right into the bushes so don't get seen. Funny part about it is that you can still get the explosive kills while being hidden. So if you just chill out in the bushes, scrap yourself some mullets off, scrap yourself some explosives, and then go attack the enemy while being hidden, they would still know what hit him. Also, there are a lot of traps in the bushes, so make sure you don't step into one of them. Like I said, if you step into one of them, they're gonna directly see you and you fill the challenge. I still need some more hidden kills, so I decided to residue a guy and start throwing some molotovs on the people that were hiding so I can easily get the hidden kills, explosive kills and all of that stuff at the same time. I only need six more hidden kills right now and uh, it seems like getting these are pretty easy of course with the guy which I just shot with the residue bolt. Moving from bushes to bushes you're gonna try to get more explosives because you need those explosive kills and you grab them right here from this table. Right in front of me there are even more of them but I'm too scared to get found so the very first thing I do is go back into the bushes and go to the other guards because these guards are just still not having a clue of what was going on in the other side of the camp. Throwing the molotovs directly on them is a must because you want to be sure that you're gonna hit them. If you don't hit them it's gonna suck and you maybe lose the molotovs and don't get all the explosive and throwable kills that you need it. At this moment I am over six minutes but that's actually not what I'm worrying about. I want to get these hidden kills so I can actually go over 25,000 points so another kill here and then there's a guy up there and you can see how i just throw it like right on the guy easy peasy taking them out with the molotovs right in there you see this one there he goes Whee! bang and he dies i only need one more kill at this moment i knew where he was but at this moment i had to throw an attractor because he was not coming my way and i didn't want him to see me this was our very last hit and kill i noticed that i only have one more guy left and i could have got uh, at least more explosive kills because right now I need two more explosive kills to actually get more points and if I finish all that within six minutes I would have had the highest score ever. So there's only one guy left with a flamethrower and just for the fun of it I wanted to kill him with explosives he's just standing right in front of me and honestly I have no clue what he was doing because he was like spraying with a flamethrower like a complete different direction where I was standing and he was kind of freaking out as well. I didn't even shoot a residue ball in his ass. If you found this video very helpful, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you want to see more awesome Days Gone videos. And this was Cheese. Peace.